Good evening and welcome to a quick video. Have a look at that beautiful lock. This Yale rim cylinder I received from Joshua. So Joshua, thank you very much. That's a great lock. Looks very, very nice. Also the key is a beautiful one. Um, it's a six pinner and the key is very thick. Unusual for me. So it works very nice and smooth. And the lock has an interesting uh, number stamped on the front. Not sure what this uh, means, but I don't think that this is the bidding code. <laughs> Would be strange to have the bidding code uh, directly uh, stamped on the front. So I protect the keyway with a tension wrench. I use a Sparrow's shallow hook to pick the lock. So strong tension, heavy tension. Start with pin 1, got a click, 2 is springy, 3 is binding, got a click. You have to be careful with pin 2 actually. If you overset uh, key pin 2, you got a false set. I think pin, pin, uh, key pin 2 is a, a dry, is a spool and then you will never recover from that if you overset it. So nothing from the pins in the back. Again, I'm on three. Oops, got feedback and let's see. Ha, it's open. Ha, ha, that's the magic flying tension wrench. Cool. Okay. Usually, it usually takes a little bit longer because this is my normal fight with uh, standard pins. So let's have a look what's inside this lock. Um, <coughs> turn it like this. Okay, hope I can get this off quickly. Does this come apart? Huh. Oh, no, it's now it's coming. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I need a Hollow follower, or I can use that. Oops, no, the groove is not uh, deep enough as you can see. So I use uh, hollow follower, yeah, that works. Uh, no, not this way, that way. Okay, all right. We have all pins in working order. One is standard, two is standard, ah, three is the one that if you overset it, it gives you the, the nice full set from which you never recover. So basically, all are. There's a master wafer at five, okay, but it's in the uh, in the key pin um, level, so it didn't affect uh, picking. Okay, driver one is springy. Uh, is springy is standard. Same for two. Oh, and two at number three. No, I don't think so. Mm. 
another one, standard one, and another standard one. Okay. Dump out the springs as well. All of the same kind. This is not a challenge lock. But this is actually a strange lock because it's not a challenge lock, so I think everything is uh, just uh, smooth here. Yeah, no modifications done to the uh, Bible and also no modifications done to the plug. That's an old lock. It's, you see a lot of uh, wear out here. Heavily used. Pretty cool. Uh, so it's not a challenge lock but um, it has this uh, strange number three uh, Pin, as you can see, sorry, focus problems. So, Joshua, please let me know uh, a little bit about the history of this lock. It has master wafers, so it's uh, yeah, part of a uh, yeah, locking uh, system, master key system, and uh, it has this interesting. <laughs> Key pin number three. And what is that actually? Ah, yeah, this is the master wafer. Okay, just thought it as a serration here. Well, all right, that's it. Uh, that's the beautiful Yale uh, rim cylinder sent to me by uh, Joshua. Again, Joshua, thank you very much for this beautiful lock and uh, everybody else. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking. Bye-bye.